Buck. Do you remember me? Your mom's name is Sarah. You used to wear newspapers and your shoes. You wet the bed until you're 14 and sometimes you pooped a little. Well, man, I had a condition. You'd always get caught with the neighbor's dog and some peanut butter. I was just testing its loyalty. You had a sock under your bed named Peggy. Your password to your email is I love Peggy 69 Buck, Buck, man, it's you! Once you ran out of toilet paper, so you used your shield. Man, come on! Your social security number is 23140. Man, where's the pen? I need to write this shit down. What's up, Pop-Tarts, and welcome to the Pop Stop. Today is our first episode of our Civil War week. I'm your host, Joey, the Winter Soldier. This is my co-host, the Scarlet Bree Hey, guys. And over here, we have Falcon. On your left. I let Falcon be on the show because he agreed that I was a better right-hand man for Cap. Whatever you say, RoboCop. What's up with the Knight Rider shirt? Who doesn't like Knight Rider? <laughs> no wonder Ant-Man beat you. So, in honor of the Captain America Civil War movie that, well, at least for us, will be hitting theaters later this week, we have decided to review the Captain America Civil War Funko Pop series. Now, this series is huge. There are so many pops in this series, so we decided to break it up into two episodes. So, if you guys can't already tell, this is going to be the Team Cap episode. Yeah, he's excited. And uh, we will also be releasing a Team Iron Man episode, so definitely keep your eyes open for that. And at the end of the Team Iron Man episode, we will be debuting a giveaway, so be sure and check that out. Now let's see who's first up on the Team Cap roster. We have Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is Pop Marvel number 133, real name Wanda Maximoff, played by the beautiful Elizabeth Olsen. Now, in the comics, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver's father is Magneto, but due to Fox owning the right of Magneto, the storyline had to be changed in the MCU. All right, Bree Bree, break down this witch. Okay, so for starters, obviously we are seeing her in a totally new outfit. So she has kind of like this corset and then this like really long kind of like trench coat going into like kind of some like black type pants and of course those like boots that we're used to seeing. She does have her little gloves and she's even got a little painting on her little fingernails. Um, her hair and her head is like kind of a basic sculpt, not a lot to it, but she does have the part in the middle and she even has like the cute little eyelashes and this like almost smoky looking eyeshadow going on. Overall, she's a really cute pop, even though she has a thin little body, she does stand pretty well on her stand. The one bone that I have to pick with this pop, the one thing, is she kind of has these thick little sausage fingers and I almost wish like because her hands are kind of coolly posed I wish that they would have almost put like some translucent like glowing oh that would have been cool yeah in her hands yeah I mean maybe after the movie they'll come out with like a variant yes because that's what we need is more variants and exclusives to the set take my money <laughs> all right now this next pop I'm not quite sure about maybe I'll change my mind about her after I see the movie maybe she has a big part but let's check out agent 13 Agent 13 is Pop Marvel number 131, real name Sharon Carter, played by Emily Van Camp. Agent 13 is the great niece of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s co-founder, Peggy Carter. All right, Riri, tell us what's up with Agent 13. <laughs> Okay, so for starters, um, her outfit is kind of relatively plain. She has kind of like this like textured vest with the shirt underneath and of course like kind of like blue jeans and these actually really cool looking boots. But the neat thing about her is this stance. She does have a really cool and kind of intimidating stance. You know, she's got her batons out and she looks like she's just like ready for action. Gonna kick some ass. <laughs> now her hair sculpt is really cool too. Um, it has a whole lot of actual like texture and detail in it and the way that it's parted, it has definitely like a really nice flow to it. And she she does have these really cute little eyelashes as well. And like you were saying, Agent 13, you know, she wasn't really a huge part of any of the Captain America movies or whatever, so we'll see like how she is in this movie. But the one thing that I think is so crazy about this pop is how, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but it looks just like the actress. It does, I think it's the hair. Is it the hair? Yeah, now, yeah, we've only seen her for a little bit in the uh, Captain America Winter Soldier, so maybe she is just badass in this movie and I'll <laughs> like this pop afterward. I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. But let's check out a Giant Man. Next up is Giant Man. Giant Man is Pop Marvel number 135. 
real name, Scott Lang, played by Paul Rudd. Scott Lang is currently the only character in the MCU to have taken over the mantle of a former superhero. All right, now how awesome is it that they gave us a six inch giant man pop? Bree, Bree, break this pop down. Definitely, definitely awesome. It was so cool to see a six inch pop in this line. Um, so for starters, the helmet shape on him is really, really cool. Um, it has kind of this two-tone silver and um, like a graphite color. Yeah, that'd be graphite. With kind of these pops of blue, and of course you have like the uh, red lenses over his eyes, which looks super cool. Now some people have been saying that the actual like mouth and nose area kind of looks like a pig. I guess I can kind of see it. Yeah. But I love pigs. So she does love pigs. I'm for it. I used to have a pig named after me, so yeah. This is true. I'm for it. Um, I do like the look of his new suit. Um, definitely with the colors with the um black and red and silver and the little tiny pops of blue, you get just like a really cool look and it has a lot of really cool accents. I mean overall he's just a really cool looking pop and I love to see the fact that now we have the little bitty ant man all the way up into the six inch giant man. This is awesome. I do love this pop. But you know, there's one pop that I love more and it's probably my favorite pop out of the series. I think they did the best job designing it. It is Falcon. Falcon is pop Marvel number 127. Real name, Sam Wilson, played by Anthony Mackie. This pop is a Hot Topic exclusive. Falcon is the first African-American superhero to appear in mainstream comics. All right, Bree Bree, give us the word on this bird. <laughs> So uh, this guy looks really, really cool. I agree with what you're saying. I mean, he by far is probably one of the better design pops of this line. Um, so just starting top to bottom, he has this really neat texture on his hair. His goggles look super, super cool with the actual plastic above it. And it goes all the way around to the back of his head, as you saw in the 360. Uh, his new suit looks really, really cool. It's kind of this like light gray with these silver accents and these graphite accents and red. I mean, just a whole lot going on in the actual design of the suit. His little wrist pieces look really cool and he's got these cute little gloves on him as well. And of course, the uh, really impressive part, which is the actual wings. Now the look of the wings is really, really cool. And of course he has his pack on as well. And more than anything, I am just so excited that they just didn't even try to do a regular pose or like kind of like the basic pose. They just went for it. They were like, if we're gonna do Falcon, we're gonna do him flying in the air. And I just think that that's so cool. Damn. I look good. Yes, you do look pretty good. Like fresh catnip. Wait, Doc, if you're playing Falcon, then who's playing Black Panther? I don't know. It is I. It's on my glasses. Aaron, from the comic book show. Available on iTunes and Stitcher. Huh, isn't Black Panther supposed to be black? Isn't Johnny Storm supposed to be white? If they can make him black, why can't they make the Black Panther white? Because he's Black Panther. It's in the name. Come on, man. Just take everything. Uh, anyway, Aaron, you're not even supposed to be on this episode. You're Team Iron Man. Oh, well, in that case, I'm out, dog. Or should I say, cat. So, can we get back to the pops, or...? Well, of course we can. And the next character is one of my favorite characters of all no. time. Yes, it is the Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is Pop Marvel number 129. Real name, James Buchanan Barnes, also known as Bucky Barnes, played by Sebastian Stan. In Captain America the First Avenger, Winter Soldier, and Civil War, Winter Soldier briefly uses Captain America's shield, a reference to his role as Captain America's successor in the comics. All right, Riri, are you now ready to get lucky with Bucky? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this guy's pretty cool looking. Um, his uniform is a little bit simple for the most part. It's just totally black, but you have kind of like this uh, flat black and gloss black like with his belt and his accessories and his boots. They're kind of glossy and they stick out um, from the actual flat black. Now, of course, he does have his metal arm, much like this guy. And he has a very clean looking red star, um, you know, that we've seen him have before. Uh, his hair sculpt is a little bit maybe like shaggier longer than on the other um, Winter Soldier pop or the... Yeah, there's a little bit more detail and 
And he has these kind of like a uh, furrowed brow, like eyebrows, kind of like, I don't know if they're angry eyes or what. And of course, the most obvious thing on this guy that looks really, really cool and I'm excited for seeing in the movie is this huge gun that he is holding onto. So I'm not really sure what that's about. That's a big ass gun. But it looks interesting, yeah. Now I am a huge fan of Winter Soldier and there's only one character that really tops him for me. And now it is time for him. It's the main event. It's that bad boy from Brooklyn. Yes, I'm talking about Steve Rogers, Captain America. Captain America is pop number 125. GameStop exclusive action pose number 137 and Marvel Collector Core action pose. Real name, Steve Rogers, played by Chris Evans. Iron Man orders Captain America to stay down and Cap answers, I could do this all day. This is the same answer that Cap gives to a bully who was beating him up in the beginning of Captain America the First Avenger, which was in 2011. All right, here we have Captain America, the regular release. We have the GameStop exclusive, which is an action pose, and we have another action pose that came in the Marvel Collector Core Civil War box. Now, the really cool thing about these guys is with having so many previous Captain America pops, they were able to actually truly do things with these pops that we haven't seen before on previous Captain Americas. Um, so for starters, this guy is actually my favorite, just the standard plain Jane regular release. Um, so his helmet, it looks very similar to what we saw on Age of Ultron. He has this little silver, almost looks like kind of like the little wings, the little design right there. Um, and of course, just a basic like helmet sculpt. And the suit is very similar for what we've seen on Captain America, of course, he's got um, the little like blue suit with the little star, and then he's got these like stripes with this little utility belt and his black boots and his gloves. Now, the reason why I love this pop, and I'm waiting to show you guys, is because of the shield in the back and the fact that we haven't seen that before, which is like you know, all the time in the movies we see Cap take his shield off and put it on his back. So cool to get a pop with that, but even cooler than that is. The shield itself comes out and you can actually put it on either wrist or whatever or when you're done with it you just pop it right back in the back now that is the reason why this guy is definitely my favorite super cool yeah so moving on to the GameStop exclusive obviously the actual um, the actual details on the suit and the helmet are going to be you know the same or very very similar to what we saw in the original guy and he's got his shield out ready for action um I mean it's a cool idea he looks like he's crouching just like ready to punch he looks like he's like kneeling down giving somebody a nut punch <laughs> maybe so i don't know we'll wait and see but you know i mean it looks cool i i admire the fact that they try to do an action pose but i don't know this one just doesn't do it for me now with this guy I don't know. By himself, he just kind of looks a little odd, the way that he is like contorted and the way that his head and his body is. But with the Iron Man together, where they're like going at it, they look really cool. Yeah, by himself, he looks like he's kind of just looking yeah, off into the distance. Yeah, he's like stargazing or something. I don't know. It's kind of a little bit weird. Now, the strange thing about this guy, too, is when you actually compare them side by side with the exact same line, you can see that the head is actually smaller. It's actually a little bit different blue. And overall, he's just like got a little bit different details than the rest of these guys have which is kind of a little weird yeah it is a bit strange i mean my favorite one is also just the standard cap release i love the fact that you can take off your shield and you can put it on your spider-man pop <laughs> uh the other ones you know i do like the nut punch one it looks kind of cool and nut punch one that's not what he's called i call him nut punch cap uh anyway they are he's cap of course i had to have them all and they're awesome. Well, that pretty much wraps up our lineup of Team Cap. Now, Bree Bree, which one is your favorite out of these guys and gals? <laughs> well, uh, Falcon definitely looks really cool. I love the gun on this guy, but I'm gonna have to go with this Captain America. The fact that we actually get a cap with the shield on the back, but not only that, it comes off, you can put it on the arm, or you can even like take it off and put it on other characters. It just really sells me on this guy. He is my favorite out of the Captain Americas, but my favorite pop out of the whole line, actually out of the whole uh, Civil War series is Falcon. They did a great job on the sculpt and the design. I mean, he looks awesome. He looks like he's flying. He is by far my favorite. Now, I would like it if you told me which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Also guys, make sure that you tune into our 
Team Iron Man episode um, because like we said before we are going to be doing a giveaway alongside our friends at the comic book show and we will detail out all the information of what you need to do to enter to win that giveaway in our future episode. Now I think you should give them a sneak peek of one item that we are giving away. We are giving away a few items and the comic book show are giving away a few items so Bri, Bri I'll let you show one item. Just one it. item. I'm going to show my favorite item in my opinion, the one that matters most. And that is uh, this guy. He is a shiny and metallic Black Panther pop. Now this is a completely uh, custom paint job done by this guy right here. Um, and of course we will show you a more in-depth detailed look uh, in the Iron Man episode. This is just a sneak peek to show you guys. Now I only made two of them. One of them we will be giving away on our show and the other one, the comic book show, will be giving away on their show. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us on YouTube. As always, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and you can like us on Facebook. We'll put all those links right down below. Well, that's it for now. Keep it popping, people. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast.